Hey everybody, it's Strongbow1 and welcome to part 21 of Let's Play Mass Effect 2. I, I ended the last episode kind of abruptly. Uh, we're in the middle of a firefight. We're getting to Thane Krios. We're almost there. We're in the home stretch. We just got more corridors of combat. Yes. We've already seen 26 minutes of it. And you're gonna see some more. Seriously, there's nothing I. Oh, I moved my character. That's something. There's nothing. There's nothing I haven't said last episode that I can say. That I can say here. Because it is just combat. So. I mean, I don't know. What, really, it's combat. <laughs> so, warp effective. And I noticed my gun didn't have warp ammo on it. Apparently, it just does that at random. Sometimes my gun will just choose to go back to normal ammo, and I don't really realize it. And then I have to re reapply it again, and that's kind of annoying. Uh, see, I have to apply it. It's not that big of a deal because it's really short cooldown. And I had no idea what was going on here. <laughs> Realized. Yep. This is just a really embarrassing fight. I mean, if you saw this, what would you think? Really, that's why I find a humor. In, that's why I find the humor in a lot of games. Is really what would happen? If you saw this in real life, what would you think? I'll take. And there, I just discovered some research. It's submachine gun damage, always good. And remember how hacking games were fun? Yeah. We had another one. Yeah, these aren't that bad either. Uh, what's a bit of a problem? I'm recording in standard definition. It's kind of hard to see the little colors there, but it's not too hard. Terribly difficult, and you you get it. So, more useless money because I'm basically, I'm basically wallpapering my house with money right now. But m more money can never hurt. So this is the big climax of the. Uh, this is the big action climax of the Thane recruitment mission. We're duking out on the bridge, trying to actually get to him. I th you see, I'll throw my singularity into that brick twice. No, oh no, that's another part I'm thinking about. What am I thinking? Uh, so, remember when the guy told you that about wind? Remember that? Yeah, apparently the designers didn't. Yeah, but that's okay. Do you? <laughs> I really wouldn't want anything blowing me off this brick. I'm really just kind of playing this class all wrong. As an adept, you're really supposed to just hang back and kill everybody with your biotic powers, but... I don't know, I guess... I don't know, I guess I'm an impatient person, so... I just run up, just really just want to get close and finish them off. Really brutal, satisfying combat. And even though the adept magic class is not designed for it, you can. that's still a totally viable way to play. Even if it's not as effective. Yeah, I do try to make the I do try to uh, make the combat entertaining to watch, so I'm not always in the back, just uh, being support. I like to keep things at like action oriented, focus. Really, it really took me a long time to realize I can climb on top of this thing. I don't know what caused me to be such a dumbass, but I did. Oh, and those rocket guys are hell. Here's it. You have to be standing right behind them in order for you to tar be able to target them. Even from here, I can't target them. I can't really rush forward, otherwise I would risk dying from those guys over there. But I decided to take my chances and run for it. Can I finally target them? Yes! And all these are really just shields, so... Uh, my team here is really equipped to set, set up shields, so once you get up close to them, it's really easy, but... They give you hell when you're not able to target them. I'm mean, serious, shouldn't Garrus be able to like snipe them or something? Isn't that what a sniper rifle is designed to do? Yeah, that's it. Aiming those aiming those uh black holes, man. It's something else. I was trying to aim high to get over over cover, but then I ended up aiming too high and then just shooting it in the, into the sky. Space. So Not reinforcements, more fighting, no. Engaging hostiles, boost your shields. 
Oh yeah. This is a really embarrassing fight for, uh, for both combatants involved. Uh, I'd take out this guy fairly quickly, but the other, the other person there is... Ooh, double whammy with the warps there. It's a triple shot. Warp, warp, impressive shot. Basically took that vanguard down though. <laughs> this is an embarrassing fight for both me and that Asari. Seriously, Miranda can't hit it with its warps. I'm sitting here with no shields, just stuck behind this area. Stuck behind this little, like, kiosk here. Again, what would you think if you saw this happening? Really. So, I lost about half my health. Just, we're just taking- we're just taking pot shots at each other at this point. At least I, I got her down to- I looked at her it was like, that says health, does it not? Yeah, I can't use any of my health-based powers. A few bullets ought to solve that. And lo and behold, it does. Throw? Fun. I don't know why I invested in the both throw and pull. It just gives me more uh, places to screw up later. But we finally found Thane. Wait. Before you kill me, just tell me who hired you. Who do you think it was? Screw you. Charming. Kill me then, I'm not playing your stupid games. Well, you made it this far, now what? You really think I'm here to kill you? Do you have another reason for destroying my tower? Decimating my security? I'm just looking for someone. You expect me to believe that? Is it credits? Is that what you want? Just tell me your price, we can make this problem go away. All the credits in the world won't make this problem go away, Nasana. Who the hell gave you the right to play God? I may not be perfect, but look at you. We both kill people for money. What's the difference? You've brought this on yourself. I wouldn't stop it even if I could. What do you mean? Of course you can stop it. Just don't... what? I heard something. Damn it. Check the other entrances. You stay put. When I'm finished dealing with this nuisance, you and I are going to... Impressive. You certainly know how to make an entrance. I was hoping to talk to you. I apologize, but prayers for the wicked must not be forsaken. She certainly was wicked. Not for her. For me, the measure of an individual can be difficult to discern by actions alone. Take you, for instance. All this destruction, chaos. I was curious to see how far you'd go to find me. Well, here I am. How did you know I was coming at all? I didn't. Not until you marched in the front door and started shooting. Nasana had become paranoid. You saw the strength of her guard force. She believed one of her sisters would kill her. You were a valuable distraction. Let's cut to the chase. I need you for a mission. Indeed. You're familiar with the Collectors? By reputation. They're abducting entire human colonies. Freedom's progress was their handiwork. I see. We're going after them. Attacking the Collectors would require passing through the Omega-4 Relay. No ship has ever returned from doing so. They tell me it's a suicide mission. 
I intend to prove them wrong. A suicide mission. Yes, a suicide mission will do nicely. I'm dying. Low survival odds don't concern me. The abduction of your colonists does. You're dying. Are you contagious? How long do you have? If you're interested, we can discuss it on your ship. The problem isn't contagious, and it won't affect my work. I hadn't heard that. Is there anything I can do? Giving me this opportunity is enough. The universe is a dark place. I'm trying to make it brighter before I die. Many innocents died today. I wasn't fast enough and they suffered. I must atone for that. I will work for you, Shepard. No charge. And that concludes Thane's uh, recruitment mission. It wasn't the most exciting, but it was action. I've heard impressive stories, Krios. Sounds like you'll be an asset to the team. That is, if you're comfortable having an assassin watch your back. I've accepted a contract. My arm is Shepard's. Uh-huh. Don't know about you, but I'm loyal to more than my next paycheck. Obviously he is too. He's doing this mission gratis. What's your concern? I don't like mercenaries. An assassin is just a precise mercenary. An assassin is a weapon. A weapon doesn't choose to kill. The one who wields it does. Where shall I put my things? I'd prefer someplace dry if anything is available. The area near the life support plant on the crew deck tends to be slightly more arid than the rest of the ship. Ah, an AI. My thanks. He seems quite civil. We need all the help we can get. He's not what I expected in an assassin. He may surprise you. Yeah, and he may not. Okay, I think I'm going to end it here. Now, this is usually the part where I would run around, collect research, and go talk to everyone around the ship and see who wants to talk. But I'm going to do things a bit differently this time, and I think you're going to appreciate it. So, until next time, I'm Strong One, and I'll see you. Have a few minutes to talk? Certainly. We haven't had a chance since I joined. When we met you, you said you were dying. Yes. I thought you'd want to know more. You don't have to worry about the rest of the crew. My illness is not communicable, even to other Drell. It's called Keprel Syndrome. Is there anything we can do here? Normandy has a state-of-the-art medical bay. No, thank you. It's being attended to. If the finest medical minds in the Hanar Illuminated Primacy can't solve the problem, I doubt your ship's medic could. Thank you for your concern. Trust me, this won't affect my performance. Chambers said you're tearing up the place. Something wrong? Something is wrong, Shepard. I feel wrong, tense. I just want to kill something with my hands. More so than usual. Like it's not my choice. Like I just wanna... I don't know. See? Why do that? What's wrong? Okir didn't imprint anything to help you figure this out? I see pictures of old battles. Voices of warlords. But this is a blood haze in my head. I want control. When we're moving, fighting, I focus. But here, my blood screams, my plates itch, and even you are just noise. I'm tank-born. What is this? Edie, anything in your files about Krogan diseases that could cause this? Cerberus has a number of autopsies on file, but nothing on a living Krogan of this age and situation. Krogan are reluctant to share medical records. 
my people were defeated by doctors and labs. They will never let stuff like that leave the homeworld to Chunka. Joker can get us to the Krogan homeworld. I need everyone at their best. Thank you, Shepard. I don't like this. Fury is my choice, not a sickness.